Hey guys, my name is Brandon Woodward. I'm here in Hyde Park in Austin, Texas at the Antonelli's Tasting Kitchen. Uh, I wanted to share a recipe with you guys today. Um, I'm a chef. I've been working in the restaurant industry for more than a decade in hotels, restaurants. Uh, I'm currently a cheesemonger here at the retail location in Hyde Park. Um, I wanted to share a recipe with you guys um, utilizing Chabrin, which is a really nice semi-soft goat's cheese that's available in our Antonelli's Cheese Club box for the month of June. Um, Chabrin's a really nice uh, goat's cheese uh, from the Pyrenees, uh, Basque region of France. Uh, really nice kind of creamy texture, has like really nice tanginess, a little bit of minerality. I think that really complements this dish. Um, today we're going to ma be making a fettuccine. Uh, with a little bit of pepidou peppers that bring a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of heat, uh, some arugula, uh, lemon, a little bit of white wine and some cream. Uh, I think it's gonna come together really great. So let's get started. All right guys, I've got everything gathered, all the ingredients here. Um, I'll just run through them really quick. Um, you know, we're gonna, oh, oh hey Gendel. <laughs> hey Brandon, what are you doing? Oh, we're making some pasta with uh, cheese from the Antonelli's Cheese Club box. Ooh, this month. which cheese is that? It's Chabrin. Oh, okay. Goat's milk cheese, that pasteurized France. I love it. And that rind. Please tell me at some point that somebody will take a bite of the rind. Whether or not it goes into your concoction, it's worth just having a little nibble, especially if somebody's enjoying a glass of wine on the side. Absolutely. That sounds like a good recommendation. Better you cooking than me. I'm out of here. Right? All right. Bye, Good Grace. to see you. Thanks for stopping by. All right, guys. I've gathered everything here. Uh, for a full list of ingredients, just look at the info in the description. Um, let's get started. The first thing we're going to start with, we're going to mince one shallot, kind of a medium one. We're just going to mince it really nice and finely. Set this to the side. All right, next we're going to chop uh, three cloves of garlic, really nice and fine. Give them a nice little smash. All right, next we're gonna zest and juice one lemon. Just gonna use my microplane here. Really love this tool. I, I think the microplane really does a great job not picking up too much of that pith. Citrus zest stays really nice and sweet. Set that aside. Go ahead and take our knife. Slice our lemon in half. Got a little strainer to make sure we don't get any seeds in there. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and chop up four anchovy fillets. It's kind of a fine chop. These are gonna melt down really nicely when we saute our shallots and garlic and the olive oil. I think just Really adds a really nice savory flavor. A little bit of brininess. Not gonna really know they're in there, other than a little bit of like base flavor. All right, and scoop this to the side. All right, next up we're gonna take uh, one cup of pepidou peppers. Again, this is like one 14 ounce jar. I love these peppers. They they're amazing with like fresh goat cheese. Uh, so when I was making this pasta and like trying to figure out what I thought would go well with some chabrin, I, I thought of pepidus right off the bat. These peppers aren't really that spicy. They have like a touch of heat, but mostly just like a pretty bold sweetness. Some really nice aromatic pepper flavors. All right, got those all halved up. All right, next thing we're gonna do is uh, take our four ounce block of Chabrin, really beautiful goat's cheese. We're gonna trim some of the rind off. Uh, it's really great in the pasta. You can leave it on if you want. Just adds a little nice minerality. I'm gonna leave some of it on. Trim just like this base part off. I'm gonna take, take my knife and I'm just gonna make a couple shaves. I'm gonna save these for, for garnish at the end. Some nice strips. I really like using a microplane for grating cheeses like parm, pecorino. 
have anything that you're going to have like melting into a pasta it really like allows allows the heat to evenly get to the the cheese it stick the sauce will stay emulsified and nice and creamy really nice way to take care of harder cheeses for grating into pastas or things like that I know this looks like it's gonna be quite a bit but it really like adds a really nice velvety texture really loud the the good quantity kind of gives you the gives you enough cheese to really taste it in the final product get that rind ground down all right there we go just gonna set this to the side and we'll get started on the rest of the pasta all right guys the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and drop our pasta i've got about a gallon of water here at a rolling boil i put maybe like four tablespoons of salt uh, you just really want to make sure that there's plenty of salt in there. It really gives a nice seasoning to your pasta. Make sure that every bite is really nicely flavored. Uh, we're going to go ahead and drop. So I've got about a box of pasta here. You can do a little less, a little more if you want, depending on how many. This will do probably about four or five portions. Give it a nice stir once we get it in there. We're going to boil this for about nine, ten minutes until it's really nice and al dente. We're gonna go ahead and start building the sauce for our pasta. Um, we're gonna start sauteing the aromatics. I've got a pan like over like medium low heat. Uh, just let it warm up a little bit. We're gonna start with some uh, extra virgin olive oil. Probably about three tablespoons or so. I'm gonna go ahead and add our shallot. Our garlic. About a teaspoon of chili flake. You can add more or less depending on how spicy you want it. I like a good bit of heat. And our four anchovy fillets. I'm just gonna saute this over medium low heat. Just being really careful, going pretty slow. Uh, you don't wanna burn that garlic. You wanna get a really nice sweat going on. Allow a little bit of that moisture to come out of the shallots. A little bit of that sugar caramelizing. I'm also going to go ahead and season this. We want to make sure to season everything as we go. Season each layer. A little bit of salt, a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. All right. So we're going to sweat this probably about four or five minutes or so, just until everything's nice and translucent. and translucent. We're going to go ahead and deglaze with some white wine. We're using a Naya Verdejo. Uh, it's got some really nice acidity, um, really delicious wine. I think this goes really well with the pasta. Use about a half cup here to deglaze. We're going to go ahead and turn our heat up. We're going to re reduce that wine down at least by half, almost till it's like a syrupy consistency. We want to get all that alcohol evaporated off, really consolidate all that acidity. Nice and nice and sweet also. All right guys, our wine has reduced by half. You can see it's almost like a syrupy consistency there. A really nice and condensed flavor. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go in uh, with about two cups of heavy cream. We can crank up our heat just to bring that up to a simmer. I've also got about a cup of the starchy pasta water uh, that we used, we reserved from our cooking our pasta. We're gonna go in with that as well just to help fortify the sauce. Some of that starch will help, you know, get everything emulsified, nice and thick and creamy. So we're just gonna reduce that, maybe about three or four minutes on, on high heat. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, dress our arugula. Uh, while our cream's reducing, you know, we have a few minutes to uh, take care of some other tasks. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add our juice of one lemon, with roughly a tablespoon, maybe two, uh, the zest that we that we reserved earlier. A couple, a couple good grinds of cracked black pepper. Just a touch of salt. And two or three tablespoons of olive oil. All right. Just gonna take a whisk. Just bring up all that zest, make sure everything's mixed together well. 
and we're going to go in with our arugula. I've got about five ounces here, which is like one typical package that you find at the store. Uh, it's roughly about like five packed cups if you're measuring that way. It's a good bit. Uh, I know it looks like a lot, uh, but it's, when we uh, get it into our pasta sauce, it's going to wilt down a little bit. Uh, we're going to reserve a, a few leaves for garnish uh, to finish up with. So I'm just going to give this a toss. All right, we're going to go ahead and finish up our pasta. We're going to get all the final ingredients um, uh, brought together. First thing we're going to add in is our uh, grated chabrin. I've turned the, the heat down to low um, just to make sure that this the cheese doesn't break. Everything gets mixed in nicely. Go ahead and add our pepidus in. Just get that together. Whisk all that cheese in there. Not too high of a heat. All right, then we're gonna get our drained and cooked pasta. Really nice and al dente. Still got a little bit of bite to it. Um, since we're gonna finish it in the sauce, give a chance for that sauce to kind of seep into the pasta, finish cooking it in a really nice flavorful liquid. Turn up the heat a wee bit just to bring this to a simmer. And after this comes to a simmer, we're going to go ahead and uh, incorporate our dressed arugula. And we're going to use probably about 80% of the arugula. We're going to reserve maybe like half a cup or so uh, just to garnish at the, at the end. So this is looking great, really nice and creamy. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and use our, make sure everything's really nicely dressed. Cool. All right. Perfect. Just kind of toss this all together really gently just to give that arugula a chance to wilt. Just a, just a bit. At the same time, we're also incorporating like really nice lemon zest, lemon juice, a little bit of touch of acidity. It's gonna make this dish really nice and fresh. I think the lemon, you know, really complements the, the arugula as well as the chabrin, which has, you know, some, some kind of citrusy notes to it. Try not to heat a wee bit more. Just a couple more minutes just to get that arugula wilted. We're gonna hit it with a little bit more fresh cracked pepper. I don't really think you can get too much pepper in this dish. It really, it really lends itself to a nice little peppery bite. And once this gets wilted down, we'll be ready to plate. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and finish up our pasta. Uh, we've got a reserved arugula that's really nicely dressed with a little bit of lemon olive oil, some shaved uh, chabrin, some grated chabrin, a little bit of cracked pepper and olive oil. I'm going to bring this over here. Got a nice little ladle that I'm going to use to kind of roll the pasta up so we played it really nice and beautifully. Put a little bit in there. Kind of roll this around. Bring this over to our plate. Put that really nice in there. Do another scoop. Pepidou peppers, dressed arugula, just all around the top there. Just bring in a little bit of freshness, good bit of peppery bite. Pepper. Just a sprinkle of chagrin, a few of these shaved bits. Side. All right, there we go. Finished product, really beautiful creamy fettuccine pasta with chagrin cheese, pepidou peppers, dressed arugula, and a little bit of uh, anchovy as well.
All right, guys, we've got the finished product here. Let's go ahead and give this a taste. I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna share this with the rest of the mongers across the street. Mm. Really nice and fresh. Uh, you get the minerality of that chagrin, really nice creaminess, a little bit of acidity from the cheese, the pepperiness from the arugula. It's absolutely amazing. Well, thanks for tuning in. Um, check back in to see more videos in the future. Um, if you want to follow me, my handle on Instagram is chef underscore Brandwood. Got lots of pictures, recipes for you guys to look at. Uh, we'll see you next time.